welcome back to your balanced diet of teletainment. Now, due to the advent of social media, a lot of Nigerians don't realize that they get the power um, to demand for good governance and to hold our leaders accountable by um, um, convening or rather propagating some movement online. Now, one of such movement, now the NSAS um, initiative um, with the convener, Shegwa Wosoya, where they come outside, um, accused the special anti robbery squad of some human rights abuses we bother around humiliation, unlawful arrest and extortion. Now just recently the federal government become as I talk say they need to overhaul the special anti robbery squad. We think this one actually mean and that's now why we get them inside the house to give us more details concerning that. Good to have you in the house. Thank you very much for having me. You're welcome to the show, Mr. Shegon. Thank you. Um, some people don't they call the, the vice president who was acting in the absence of the president a hero. Some people they call him um, um, somebody who is taking the bold step in taking in declaring certain things to be done in the absence of the president. Some people they call him so many other names um, at this point in time because of that statement we don't come outside do based on the overhauling of the, the SAS um, department in particular for inside Nigeria. You feel saying that um, the timing is actually appropriate knowing say certain things are actually happening around the season in Nigeria at this point in time? Well, first of all, uh, thank you for having me here. And um, what thing I want to make Nigerians know, we say, a good way, now we say government don't accept, say, problem day. Because most of the time, the problem we have is government, no good day, a quick accept, say, something, no day, all right. And if government no accept, there's no way we can move forward. So now that they don't accept, say, all the things we don't talk for one year now, Say, not true. See, they, don't, they, they themselves don't see them. They don't verify the information. Say, this thing, it don't be really bad. Country, no feed day. We say police, we're supposed to they protect people, uh, life and property. Now, them, they rob people. And then they kidnap people. And then they match our, some sort of picking them to ATM machine, go collect money from them. And then they enter our, our hostel. They come from inside ceiling. They come from inside soccer way. They enter, they come carry our uh, children, put ransom on top of their heads. Say, they come, they bail them with money. So they don't see saying a problem. They can't talk, say, this thing, oh, where would they talk before? You know, some people, be they talk, say, hey, reform SAS, oh, no, reform SAS, oh, went out, oh, no. The government say, make the overhaul them. You see, that word overhaul, if you look at whether a dictionary or on anything, we take one loser, it means, say, when you overhaul something, it means, say, you won't uproot the thing, come out, come start afresh. Now, you mean. So we know they reform. They know they feel, we know, since we know they reform cancer, we they cut and come out. Now, with the talk, say, if you want to overhaul something, now to start from the beginning to build, build down. Now, the VP, and now the vice president and acting president talk, say, this thing, what would it look so? Now, to change everything, not with only Sasso, even the Nigerian police themselves, we'll see they go day intelligence driven. In other words, no be saying, I'm gone, gone, rough, 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 fight. Now, would they take solve problem? Now, brain work. All over the world, policing. Now intelligence work, in intelligence work. Nobody say now by how many people will he kill, how many people will he intimidate. So we don't they go back to the original purpose of policing for Nigeria now. Now it be the essence of reforming the police and ending SARS. When we say end SARS, we mean say all this yama yama we don't they hear about say people they complain. Because you know if you talk say SARS, now me person get good thought for your mind. You know? Now, evil, evil thoughts will go to fear. Now, fear people go to fear when they hear SARS. And it's not supposed to be so. We're supposed to hear, say, ah, SARS, they come. Okay, now crime, they won't come solve. They solve them crime, they come out. Because for ordinary, normal society, people know they carry gun, enter road, we'll say nothing, they happen for there. May they not commit crime. If crime, no, they then go, now, then go turn to the criminal. That's why, even in some countries where Problem day, if they won't send soldier to the street, then go declare within they call state of emergency. The reason why they declare state of emergency, now, now for to protect uh, civilians them, may they not abuse them right. Because military know they hear, now go they hear, they know here come. So when you can't get inside this democracy, we will do so. We can't get some people who say, we don't train them like military to combat violent crimes. We can't push them for, for road. Where nothing they happen, they can't they roam, roam about, they check our phone. You know, they do everything, they abuse our children. Now the reason be that. And again, you know, they don't pay these people well. They don't get fair, then future no day secure. Housing no day, money, better money no day, salary no day secure, then wife day, then children no day go to school. So all these things inside they reform them. Now any day. We say we'll go fix some from the beginning. That's why the acting president talks say make we overhaul 
the entire system. All right. Now, so far, we don't see and say some certain statements, um, not they actually see the light of day. We don't see and say in Nigeria, most especially, we have lots of laws implementing and executing these laws now one of our problems. Yeah. Let's not forget, say, the Inspector General of Police, they be said and say, make you go Benue State, during by the time when the crisis be there, but still, nothing was done about him not going or obey the, obeying the President's order. So looking at the overhauling now, you sure say not before just when um, the newspaper will go actually see this and how you feel say go and play out in the long run. You see, a talk say, when you with the talk say, people know they do what we expect. Now, what we inspect, now then they do. How we take rich yourself? Now, because we, we they vigilant. Now, eternal vigilance. No, we say we they celebrate, say, ah, they don't talk, say so, so and so and so. You don't get plenty of things where they don't talk now. You know how many times we say the IG don't talk to any they reform? IG when they say restructure, when they talk to any they, you know, Upon transmission, upon everything, you know, there are so many things where you don't talk to him go do. But we know go they wait for see our life for inside democracy. What you make democracy they beautiful. Now be say, no be military rule. No be say government go just order one thing and then we go sit down, they expect miracle. No, now now all of us be government. People them and the people waiting for government join hand together, then them go fee fix the country. So as they don't make that order pronouncement now, the interpretation where the police give them is different from the order where they give. So it is not our responsibility. We wait on the shout for this thing since. Make we begin to tell them, say, oh, God, no be the thing where they talk to me, could not do be this. We know they, we know, they, we know, no, our campaign, no, they about change of name. Because we won't build in day 40. No be saying that painting will go take, if you're painting, you build in the sink. You know, go feel paint and over, make the problem solve. If your car engine knock, no be saying that spray. You go spray the car, talk, say, don't reform the car. You know, go still move. So no be the thing where we talk with that one. Anything where they do right now, we say then they carry a chair, put for one place, put for another place, the same set of people, they change the office, they change it. The, that one will be the reform where they talk. Because you know if he solve the problem. The major reform, what would they talk about? It will take time for us to begin to fill them. But it don't they happen already. All the structure with the inside the police system, as we they talk so, they don't they go for psychological evaluation. We mean say then go check their brain. Person we don't get psychological problem, no go carry gun. Person we don't they take drug. If you don't use drug in the past six months, you go show for inside that test. You know go feed there. So and the competency where we say we need for inside our policing, we go check and well. So anybody we no qualify, then go reabsorb them and put for other places within the system if they go remain there at all. So no we say the same old thing the way they see now you go see the sea. Right now, across all formation, now they don't they do this reform. So all these things where they hear about uh, uh, decentralization or whatever, what, what, now all of this will involve, involve things where we say they go talk so that politically, you know, go lose, say, you know, go, government no go look as if, say, they don't fail or as if, say, they're weak. So that's why they go talk all those things. So we say people will still get confident in, uh, confident in, uh, confidence in them. Say, then they do the work we say we expect them to they do. We understand all those ones. But deep inside, now they tell us, say, the real thing, what would they expect? Would they monitor them? And if we see, say, foul play day, say, yeah, 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 they inside, we'll go shout, we'll go talk. We never shut down the campaign. The campaign, see, they run, you know, and we, we, because now the voice of the people, we, they follow. We know that they look for political opportunity. We know they do, this is not about a religion. It's not about a tribe or anything. It's about the future where we say we won't give to our picking them where they come behind us. Because our people about them, they don't fight this problem. That is why we fight them. And we don't decide, say, our children don't go fight this problem. Now, you don't come outside and talk, say, we are seeing some certain form of reforms in the police force as regards to some officers now that they go through psychological tests. Now, let's not forget one of the major one we people they come outside and talk, which is uh, which borders around funding of the Nigerian police force. Now, we know, say, according by the National Bureau of Statistics, Nigeria actually ranked the lowest as regards to um, the um, salary of most of our police officers. And we know that um, the Police Reforms Trust Fund Bill is still sitting in the House, which haven't been passed. So, so how, how do you go about it when the police force is poorly funded? This is what they be say all over the world. Police, government, no fee finish spending, uh, finish supporting uh, or satisfy the support of funding security sector, the security sector. All over the world, people, they get help, you know, where they, they contribute, put, they take help, different police, based on a um, uh, uh, relationship between different countries. So we don't look and save, because we don't tell we don't they do the research on top of this matter. You know, we don't see all the problems. Our problem will not be only funding. Recruitment day. How then they take recruit these people day? And so many other things. But that funding especially, we don't promise them, say, we not just the talk, say, make we answer, make we reform police. We say we go put money, our mouth, where our money day. 
We don't promise them, say, all the connection we will get all over the world. We go put them together. Put a trust fund, because not three trust from our organization, that's Universal Institutional Reforms Advocacy Foundation, we we'll say when I go soon they hear about now. We we'll go sponsor three major funds. The first one in our community trust fund. We we'll say you go take the galvanized community organization. We we'll say people go take no their rights during election, no after election, no how to monitor their their, uh, their politician. We we'll say they represent their representatives, maybe for uh, political offices or for our national assembly or what have you. Then there's another one, education trust fund. We we'll say you go we we'll take the Educate people, we will say they don't fit, you know, uh, sponsor people, we will say they don't fit afford education. Then police trust one, I be the most important one. You go there independent, you nobody know, say our money, the money go there independent. You go there managed by independent body, renowned uh, auditing companies, now you go manage them. We will say we go that money, we go there somewhere, we will say now you go there, now you will go there, take the support this police them. Our policemen, they, they, you know, they get some of them, we will say when they, they, when they, they protect us, why would they sleep? Then go, they, they fish with them, may they die. You know, on top the work when they do, then wife go day, then we don't know go get uh, uh, the pension and waiting. Mm -hmm. All those problems no go day again because we we'll go day for them, we we'll go stand there for them. Then picking will go better school. We are even looking at getting uh, so support with uh, state government across Nigeria. Say make we make they give us land, make we build police shopping mall. Where the police go free come there? You know, buy waiting when they won't buy on on credit. Or buy what they won't buy for half the price. You know, they happen for all over the world. You know, we go build better school, bring better education. Why would they create job for our people? Them police say go they benefit from inside this thing. Then picking go go school on scholarship. All these things don't they plan? But if when they kill our picking, if they, 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 they uh, violate human rights abuses, we no go feel raise this fund because people no go give money to people where they kill them. This is a very good idea when they come outside they talk and a very wonderful project. I will not say you no know, good easy at all at all for you to accomplish this project so handedly, even though we we'll not say they try to um, in partnership with the government. But even looking at like you talk now, project we will not work on and never start them. But if you look at the state of police now, if you look at the environment where they are barracks where then they live, a lot of youngsters, I can bet you say if you walk off a road, meet ten youngsters, ask them whether they want join police. Ten of them, if not eleven, if possible, will tell you they're not interested. It is not attractive enough. Look at the package that they get. See where they stay, where their children they stay. If they drive past Ikeja, Ikeja access, and you look at the building, you look at say mosquito net on tear, it on pieces. Their children are looking, they are looking like poverty stricken. People they come outside, they say, then why won't the police ask for twenty naira on the road? Why won't the police beg for fifty naira on the road? How will you encourage the youngsters to join the police force? Look at the statistics we will get for police people, police officers in Nigeria to protect over 18 million people. We have less than half a million police officers. But for election for 2019, will it shock you to know we have over 2 million police officers that they are keeping aside and they are planning to give them, feed them for 1,000 naira a day? To the tune of money where people they come outside, they complain, say, how can you allocate this kind of money? Where these police officers they to even protect the Nigerians? Where would they keep them specially for 2019 election? The thing where we say we need to understand, we say, when we begin to talk police, make we remember, say, we serve we the inside this economy, we the inside this country. Waiting be our responsibility as citizens. We're not supposed to live our life in the hands of politicians 24 hours fully like that. We're supposed to participate, we're supposed to get involved. You see, estates of your and valuers day, uh, architects day, people they wouldn't start to define job, then they find work to do. These are areas where people feel apply themselves. And that is why you talk say we never start. We don't start. Our our our, our institution, we would we say we the work so the research we will do, the campaign we will run, not part of the work. The funding has been uh, we have been putting it together for a while. We just never make them public. Okay, so for us to run a campaign successfully for one year, you know, send a money go cost. You know, it, it costs past election. If I don't vote, I contest for president now. I don't go spend rich waiting, we don't spend already. You know, so what, what thing would they tell when we say Nigerians need to come together? You know, we don't know what thing we don't want for police right now. Everybody don't see them. We don't see waiting our papa, papa, them no fit handle, where they no fit confront, which is the police act of uh, 1943. We will be saying right now, as they talk to the bill to reform and to repeal and replace that bill, we create police. You don't they go pass second reading now for National Assembly. Normally, you see, all these things are uh, constitutional impediment. We will say it they make the solution of our problem hard. Because when politicians think, say, hey, how we go take resolve this thing? It will require 
constitutional amendment, then go come out their hand. Because constitutional amendment, it they take time and they cost plenty of money. And so because of this, nobody won't do them. But because there is no political will, people them, you know, people will put you for office. They don't know all these things. So if you do them, they don't go praise you for them. You understand? So people go say, why well, I go do what people no send me? So right now, all these police while away, they talk so. You know how many people would they involved? Millions of Nigeria. Now 50,000 people now sign a petition against this thing. So they don't know say political will, don't they? That means if you don't do the will of the people for democracy, not come out, they go so. So because of that, that political will, we still go do our bit to ensure that we refurbish our, our, our police station, we refurbish police housing. There are banks everywhere. There are businesses everywhere. We get them involved. Now this country, where would they so? We won't begin to build, build our country. We don't, talk, we don't see what we don't want. Now, the time don't reach now. We will say, would they paint a picture of the kind of police we will want? Because my own picking self won't become police officer. So if my picking, they tell me, say, Daddy, I want to be a police officer when I grow up. I, I know if you talk to me, make you know, make you shut up. I know if you can't go to church, me they deliver them. The thing where I feel supposed to do as a father be say, make a fix that thing for them. So that when he go, he go walk in vision, he go live the life where be saying he won't live. So as I they do them, make it my picking a dream come true. I they fix my country. I they make the dream of every other picking come true. And at the end of the day, we go get police who will say, if you pick any one of them at random, you go fit take selfie with them. Say, ah, I am proud of the police of force of Nigeria. So we need to begin to paint a picture of the kind of police we say we want. We don't know what we don't want. We, if you have, as, as in, the, in the few weeks to come now, you could begin to see different designs of police station. You could begin to see different designs of barracks. You could begin to see different who are ready to work with Nigerian police, who are ready to work with Nigerian government, who are ready to put our money where our mouth is to, be, to make our country better. So that we could say, talk, say, in future, for our generation, say, Build uh, onion or uh, magi or uh, waiting in the police and the give people. Me, I no get. Motto or big house, I no get. But the legacy will be say, I go live for my own picking, picking. Now, him be good policing. Now, him be good structure. Now, him be something will be say, go make our environment better. Because I don't talk and be say, no, before say, civilization no fit survive without law and order. And no law that uh, no fit day, you know, without policing. And police in no fee day will be sending no fee or be obey the law. I totally agree with you because if all this is put in, in check, if police force is being reformed, definitely in the international community, they're going to look us with good eye because according to the World Index um, Security Police International, they, they actually rate Nigerian police as the worst. Um, so if all this actually put, they put them in check, definitely we are heading somewhere. Now, what's next after the statement by the vice president? Now, where the statement don't uh, come out so now? Now we say we go, the, we go begin to now they trace what you're supposed to do first. You know, say when you say when you when you get budget for something, say okay, I get 20 naira. You go begin the list waiting you won't buy and how in the order of their importance. Right now, the beginning of the reform, go, 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 it starts from the law, legislation. How we go quickly pass that bill. We go allow the, our uh, people of National Assembly them. May they pass that law. We go repeal and replace the law where we say we get, we create police. Because I don't talk and hear before say, the law way they, way they operate right now, way they empower the police now. Now, colonial law. And the colonial law way establish our police, the constabulary. It talks say, police, they created for, to protect the Oyibo people against the people who there for Nigeria. So, and at that one, they operate. If you go to police college everywhere now, the syllabus, where they take train this, then police, now all the syllabus. So the law where they, you know, reflect the people way in the, the environment where they live now. So now to first make, align that law to the situation we did today. If we don't align that law, every other thing will be in place. Then we will begin to democratize our police. The way we police did before, now military. That's why then they call themselves force. For police don't be forced again. Now service they be now. That's why they're under the Ministry of Interior. So the people, the Police Service Commission, the Ministry of Interior, the uh, 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 Justice Department, the National Human Rights Commission, all of us, and the people, come, uh, 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 civil society, uh, civil liberties organization, everybody is supposed to come together under one umbrella to begin the work this thing. Police then be number one, you know, for now. But we see they go judiciary, we see they go prison, because this criminal justice system, now we they look after. So it is until we fix this thing, now people go begin, they understand, say, ah, true, true, this reform of the police, 
entirely because SARS is not a member of police. Very true. But that program, you know, you know, they you know make sense again right now. Mm. We know to fix some and then put if we are at all we will need anything like SARS again. We go have sp uh, special weapons and tactics, we then they call SWAT. So those SWAT people, when you see them, you go respect them. And when you see when you even see them, you go no say trouble day. They will come solve the problem when they come out. Fantastic, fantastic interview. We don't get to you. Fantastic one. I wish I would keep you longer because um, this interview has been very interesting and educative at the same time. Thank you, okay. Mr. Shegwan. Thank for you coming very much. Into the studio. Well, let's just morning. wait and see what happens next. Anyway, no problem. To enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos, when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.